welcome back to my channel. It's Pixie again, and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Pixie. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever you're doing right now. Hope you do it fabulously and safely and taking care of yourself and your loved ones. So get ready for another awkward video, because all we do here is awkward. And this is a pretty random haul. Like, they're from just different places, and I've been going through some stuff. Like, haven't we all? 2020 was wild. 2021 wasn't off to a great start. Um, places. I miss those. <laughs> and yay. Um, cheers. We'll just get right into it. So there's a pile over here and there's a pile right here. And I hope I didn't forget anything, but I'm sure I'll just show you eventually anyway in another video. As you can see, I have dyed my hair and actually my husband did it this time because I was just, yeah. Um, I was like really sad like not to trigger anybody but I like Ronnie just came home one day and I was just miserable and I didn't know why and I think it's the places thing um, the only places I go right now currently are uh, to see my mom and then every now and then we have date night like we try to do it Fridays and lately our date nights have been Saturdays but it just depends on like when he's working because his schedule is so unpredictable. But I was like, look, I don't have a car. You get to go to work. At least you get to leave the house, even though work sucks, you know, like nobody likes working. But I'm like, at least you have the opportunity to go places. And he's like, oh, I had, like, I had a sad. So he took me out to dinner that night. And then he took me to Ross and Dollar Tree to help me feel better. Because, you know, a little bit of retail therapy never hurt anybody, right? And I wore my mask, you know, and I was like scared to actually go to a store. I haven't done a store in forever since my last Goodwill haul. Well, I've done like some Dollar Tree hauls, but like really kind of like in and out. I don't really like linger and look around. Anyways, so we went to the Dollar Tree. I needed some stuff anyway. So this part's pretty boring and basic. I didn't find anything spectacular, but I wanted stuff for my garden because I have spring fever. But they still have... Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day stuff and no offense to those holidays like yay that means spring is coming but I really couldn't find any gardening stuff but I needed some bubble bath so I got Japanese Blossom bubble bath and it's by April Bath and Shower these are the same this is the same brand as those aromatherapy bubble bath shower gels I bought but I couldn't find those I found one and it was like busted open I was like why is this still on the shelf but special so I love my bubble baths. I am still trying to soak a piece of broken glass out of my foot that grew over. Yeah, the skin grew over it. Over, skin grew over it and I cannot get it out. So I've been Googling like how to not go to the hospital for a piece of glass. It's painful. It's this freaking big, I swear to God. Like I saw it in my foot the night it happened. I don't even know what broke or what my cats broke probably, but it's still there. So I've just been taking more bubble baths than showers and trying to soak it. So I mixed my bubble bath with bath salts because it said to use Epsom or a bath salt and try to soften the skin. And yeah, every time I try to take a needle and like pick at the skin, I flinch. And I know if my husband tries to do it, I'm gonna kick him in the face on accident, like a literal knee jerk reaction. So I'm scared, but I really don't want to go to urgent care because money and strangers picking at my feet. I don't like feet. I have a problem with feet. I have had one pedicure ever. But anyways, that is a work in progress about the glass in my foot and it's been super painful. Not to the point of crutches, but just like irritating. Like when you have a splinter you can't get out, that's what it feels like. It's the tiniest shard that you can imagine in my foot. It's on the back of my heel, so it's really hard for me to see and I'm actually feeling the bump right now. Anyway. So, yay bubble bath and yay random story. Sorry about anybody who doesn't like thinking about glass in their foot. Um, eventually I'm gonna do a skin regimen type video, especially for the colder months because my skin is really dry, but it's also a combination. But I picked out these masks. I haven't done a mask in forever. Not like the situation in the world mask, but like a facial mask. But these are by Freeman and I'm going, it says not tested on animals, but I'll look them up anyway because we're all about a cruelty free moment. So this one is detoxifying charcoal. These are all Dollar Tree, so everything I'm mentioning is a dollar. Detoxifying charcoal, mud, it just says basics. And then I got brightening cucumber peel off mask by basic, basics, Freeman basics. And then we have 
clean, clearing, I was gonna say cleansing and cleaning and clearing at the same time. Pomegranate, peel off. Let's see what they smell like. They smell like really faint, which is okay because I have fat allergies and I don't need to like enhance my sinus problem even more and then anti-stress, anti-stress sea salt. So we'll see. I'm not gonna put the mask on YouTube. Like, I know there's a mask Monday thing, but I don't know if I want to do that. I think I'll just kind of show you guys my regimen. But yeah, Dollar Tree is really quick. It's like the smallest part of the haul, I think. And I needed more hair ties. I usually use black ones like these guys, but I could not find them at the Dollar Tree, so I just got little rainbow ones. And yeah, um, I've been wanting to style my hair more, so if anybody wants to see videos on different hairstyles I used to do when my hair was long the first time, and it's pretty long now, um, I'm just kind of bored with either up in a ponytail or down, so I want to do different styles. If you're interested in hairstyling tutorials, let me know, but yay. And last but not least, at the Dollar Tree, I found these cute little scunchy hair clips. Speaking of doing hairstyles, I love little girls' hair clips because they go with my hair more than... Of course it has a stupid tie thing on the back, but they go with my hair more than like adult boring brown hair clips. So I'm always looking at the little girls section. These are like this holographic shimmery with just a basic alligator clip on the back. I got two of these and that was it for Dollar Tree. So next we went to Ross and my husband wanted me to just wander around to get like it out of my system because sometimes I'm a homebody and then other times I'm just like, please let me out of the house. I haven't tiki'd in forever. I haven't gone to what what is a mall anymore. All, almost all my shopping hauls have been online. But I ventured into the beauty section of Ross and I found this eyeshadow palette, which of course I was drawn to because the palette lights up. Anything that lights up is like totally up my alley. I just love LED lights and string lights and you can see my studio has all these lights in your room. I didn't even take down the Christmas lights because they're rainbow. So it's called Pure Out of the Blue and I know that Pure is cruelty free and gluten free. And it says on the back, blue light defense, cruelty free, gluten free and vegan friendly and I love Pure Cosmetics. I think one of my My Little Pony palettes is by Pure, P-U-R-E. P U R the two dots. So this is the palette. I've only no, I didn't swatch this one. And it's so shiny. So then you have the mirror. Sorry, but like there's my camera. And it has this little button on the side. And it has little vanity lights. I thought that was the cutest stinking thing ever. This was $8.99. And then there are the colors. I'll do a look with this. Probably a look book. And do my makeup first, like I usually do. But this one isn't really like, hopefully this isn't just like, oh, only the surface is glittery. Maybe the whole thing for once would be glittery. But I thought that was so freaking cute to have a little built-in vanity. I've never seen anything like that. But then again, I don't go to places like Ulta, even pre-situation in the world. So I don't know if this has been done before, but I thought that was adorable. And then I got this other palette. I already took it out of the box and I've used it once or twice. It's called... Retro Days by Beauty Treats. I do believe this was $5.99, but you know me and a rainbow palette if you are new here. I love rainbow palettes. And I try to test all the rainbow ones I can get my hands on that aren't like $62, $63. But it just has all these neon shades. Um, the first one I tested was this one. And you can see like I've already swatched these and I've used all three of these bright pinks down the middle. And yeah, I really like it. It has like a lot of fallout, you know, you get what you pay for. And Beauty Treats is known to be a cheaper one, cheaper brand, but the colors actually pay off. So for $5.99, I cannot beat this. And of course, this is why we like rainbow palettes on this channel. So we will move on. I'm very excited to do a look with this as well. And I'll do a review, even though I've already used it. So you will know. If you want to look for this, I'm sure you can find it online if you just type in Google Beauty Treats Retro Days. But yeah, the color payoff is amazing for literally $5. Very happy about that. And I'm just going to reach for stuff. Then Amazon. Let's see if I can reach all the Amazon stuff. Oh, one more thing from Ross is because, you know, I've been trying to work on my garden and I'm going to clean my porch. There's a tour of my porch coming for spring. I kind of did a little one for Christmas, but... Maybe I'll do this one during the day once all my plants are planted. So Ronnie actually found this and he thought of me in Ross and I was like, 
yes, I do want this. It is this LED light lantern. Like it has the battery pack on the bottom, but it has that fake candle thing in it. Have not put batteries in it. It just says lantern with LED candle, safe, beautiful lighting. And it comes with instructions, but I'm sure I could figure this out. And this is $12.99. But it's just this beautiful red lantern with a hanger. And I don't know why they do this. Like you bubble wrapped this much of it. Like, what is that supposed to do? I'm just saying, but it is just so gorgeous. And I really appreciated Ronnie finding this for me because he knew I was in a bad place. And he was like, look at this lantern. This is awesome. Do you want it for your garden slash porch? And I was like, yes, please. Because he calls the porch like my area. He's like, you decorate it however you want. <laughs> like this is, that's like my office is what we joke about it. Um, calling it, it's like, yes, this is my office. Welcome to my office, etc. Because I spend so much time outside when it's not freezing. I'm so happy because it was like 81 today. Beautiful. That's, that's why I live in Florida because you're only cold for like a couple weeks and I can finally breathe again with my sinuses. Wine break. So, oh yes, Amazon. That's where I was going before, like trying to do it in order and not be so scatterbrained. I've been looking for hoops. So this is by, I don't even know, like how do you pronounce that? Aid? So too, it's a whole box of hoop earrings and this was $8.99 for these costume jewelry. I think they're nickel free, different shaped hoops. I always see them on Instagram and I was like, I need different shapes hoops, shaped hoops. So I got 10 pairs for like $8.99 and I'll link it down below if you guys like these because I was so impressed. I was like, yes, thank you. Uh, you get rose gold, giant stars, and then it just opens like this, like it's just wire. But they're super comfortable. I'm still getting used to the size because you can see, like, wow, these are huge. I did say I wanted big hoops, but just so you know. And then each pair comes in silver and the rose gold. So then you have the silver stars. And I think these are adorable. I might even string some beads on them, like the pony beads to give them a little bit of color and I think that'd be really cute. And then I'm not gonna spend too much time on these earrings. There are some big hearts in silver and rose gold. I really like these, like yes. I'm not even a big rose gold person, but these are so cute. Super cute, drink every time I say super cute. And then you have squares about the same size as the hearts in both rose gold and silver. I love these so much. Did I say that already? And then you have the basic round hoops in silver and gold. Yay! Earrings. Earrings for everybody. And then we have these, they look like fishies, but they're just wire and they open like that and you just drape them like through your regular ear hole. So I thought those were really unique, but we'll just see how comfortable they are. I just imagine these ends will like snag on my hair or something, but we, we will play around with them. And it came with a little card, it just says, aid so too, with a little QR, focus please. And then it just says care tips, take it off before you go to bed or take a shower, which I never sleep in my earrings anyway. Rub your jewelry with a soft cloth cloth to bring back the shine and store your jewelry separately to avoid the scratch the scratch and it just says after care service or after sale service if you don't like it like it tells you how to return it please leave a review so yes that was a lot of fun and all those earrings for $8.99 I love Amazon I love you Amazon so much and let's see um I wore this in a lookbook but I didn't explain it but I did mention in a previous haul video that I was expecting this and it was delayed but I finally got my fur coat and I love this thing so much I like live in it now um it's so glamorous and excuse my pajama pants but it's this pastel rainbow coat and it's actually lined but it's a thin lining so you can layer it. And I'm so glad I ordered a large, I believe, because it is Chinese sizes. It's so soft, oh my goodness, it's so soft. The only thing I have to say about it is if you need to clasp your jacket up, you can't. This one doesn't have anything, like no clasp at all, but you could tie it or you could get a big safety pin and just 
kind of wrap it around, but it's so long and it's so soft and so comfortable. And it's pink and blue and purple and it's just, oh, I love this thing. And it does have pockets, if I can find them. Pockets. And yeah, it's down to about my knees, but I love it so much. I'll link it down below if you want this coat. I was really impressed with the quality for how cheap it was and who doesn't love a rainbow furry pastel moment? Yay! Um, yes, I've worn it so many times. I love it. I'm afraid to wash it. I probably never will until dry cleaners reopen. And I'm not afraid to take my clothes to a dry cleaner because people and situation. But yes, if you want to get your hands on this coat, I will link it down below. It's, oh, I'm very impressed with the price and the quality of it. But it's not going to be like... I've never been in a blizzard before, but I'm sure it's not blizzard quality coat. It's more for like show and like on a chilly night. But it's good for me in Florida on our very rare cold nights. And the last thing I was expecting from Amazon that was delayed in one of my last hauls was this beautiful backpack. And I do know it is a store that we shall not name. It starts with D, it starts with K. Knockoff, but <clears throat> as long as I'm not supporting them, I, it was worth like waiting for the overseas shipping, but I got the holographic butterfly backpack and it was actually really sturdy and yeah, it's just, it's cute. Adjustable straps, why are they always gold? I don't know. Um, this, like the pockets really hurt me because it's so wide. I can, I already did the phone test, but I haven't taken the bag like out into the world, but it's pretty deep. And it's, you know, wide enough that, yeah, if it's my phone. I was really upset with Amazon, though, because they crammed it in my mailbox. So I had to, like, flatten the wings with some books. <laughs> if you ever think, need anything that needs to be flattened or have anything that needs to be flattened, put a bunch of books on it. And leave it there for, like, 48 hours. So I mostly got the wings unbent. But I was like, really, why would you shove this into my mailbox? Like, the wings were like that when I opened it. Like, completely warped and ruined. This also came in... I know it came in pink and I want to say black and it was not that much so I will also link this down below if you want it for your pastel goth cyber raver weirdo like me moment. I can't wait to use this. I think it'll still be good for Disney when we get our Disney classes back but it's just so gorgeous. Look at those colors. And it has, yeah, this is all PVC so that you have the clear. I need to look up how to keep it clean because I know over time clear vinyl eventually yellows. But we're going to move on from that because we're already at like almost 20 minutes. But I just love this wing backpack. It's so cute and I'm so glad I didn't spend the $60 or whatever back in the day when DK had it listed. But and it seems pretty sturdy. Like it doesn't seem like the vinyl is going to give way. It's really well stitched. I'm very happy with it. I'm so glad it's in my collection. And I need to ease up on the backpacks because I bought a lot of backpacks and I eat a bags or otherwise. But yeah, that's probably my last backpack for a while, but I'm so glad I have it. Yay. Yes. And I keep kicking the lantern thing. Last but not least from Amazon. I'm reaching. I... <clears throat> Speaking of porch, this is the last porch decor for now because this is really weird. I read the reviews, I read the reviews, I read the reviews, but nobody said how to freaking hang these or what they did. But I bought the, uh, this is 84 feet, 84 feet total of ivy vines I wanted to hang on my porch. I'm sure the cats will have a field day with these once they're hung. But they're all strapped together, so you're supposed to take each one apart. They smell like that chemically I've been in a plastic bag too long factory smell. But I'm sure that'll air out the longer I keep them out of the bag. But there are, like, they're, see, they're all individual. You just have to untie these ribbon things. <clears throat> but there's no hooks at all. And they're not really, like, they have no wire in them. So <clears throat> what the heck do people do to make their ivy, like, fake ivy backdrops in their YouTube videos or on their porch? Like, I don't understand. And like I said, I read all the reviews and nobody really said how they hung them, but they showed pictures and I was like, they did it, I'll figure it out. Like, And then it came with a million zip ties. So maybe they make loops somehow on the Ivy that doesn't have loops. And then it came with the LED. <clears throat> Talking too much. 
the LED wire lights. So I don't know how they're gonna add, like how do they make the picture look like that with one string of lights and seven or so different strands of ivy with no hoops and a million zip ties look so fantastic in like influencer videos and stuff. Like, I just wanted to be a part of it, okay? I just wanted to be cool. But we will experiment. I'll eventually do the porch tour once all these things are hung up and everything is the way I like it. Once I get all the spring stuff back out because Christmas is finally put up, yay. Um, the last thing I got was from my friend Misty. She's one of my best friends. I love her, she's great. Um, she gave me a couple items of clothing, but I don't know where the other one went. But she got me this dress robe, and I kind of want to like incorporate it into an actual outfit because it's so cute. And it's very nature and it still has the tags on it. And I was like, oh my gosh, thank you for thinking of me. It's a medium, and it still has the tag on it. It says, Love Rich or Love Reach? Reach? I don't know. Whenever there's an I C H E, I want to say like Reach. But it's this beautiful like floral robe with huge bell sleeves and it's like this olive green color. Like, oh my god. And it has two ties, so it's almost like a kimono style because the tie is attached but only to the front. I don't see a wrap hole, so I don't like, you know what I mean? Like when you have a wrap sweater, there's a little hole where you like make it like I don't know we'll just play around with it for OOTD because this is super cute I think it looks like more of a kimono than like something you would wear to get out of the shower or when you wake up in the morning and all these little polka dot bell sleeve accents it's just so so <laughs> and like I have a real kimono here and it reminds me of the shape of my actual kimono from Japan, which I should probably do an outfit someday of that. But this is like, oh, it's so nice. It's just, I love it. Thank you, Misty. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna play around with that for a random outfit of the day. But yeah, the outfit of the day, it just says LJ, blah, 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 medium, olive. And I'm in between a small medium for reference. I'm a 34, 26 something, I don't know, and I'm 5'5", five five. but I love it because it just feels like an actual piece of an outfit, not like a robe robe. So, yay. Uh, the last thing I want to mention is because I decorated my mask in one of my last videos and steampunk was happening, I decided to just buy the plain black masks, which I think I mentioned in a haul, but I just bought like a pack of six off Amazon, like regular black bass but I did this little steampunk moment to wear to the festival this past Sunday and I took like broken jewelry and did like this chain number and then for my husband's I just did three black gunmetal gears on it but I hand stitched them it took forever like way longer than I expected I will never do this again but you can see the tiny stitches. This is all done by hand, and I just have random gears lying around from my other steampunk excursions. So the last thing I got, because like I said, steampunk was this past Saturday and Sunday, and I was just so happy. It was very social distance, but at least they had it because last year's was canceled, or we just didn't make it, but I know Ren Fair was canceled. So my husband was like, he wanted his hat redone because I have the link somewhere. Um, we made friends with these guys who are always there. They do handmade leather work and Ronnie bought a top hat from them, but it's orange and black, like the, the orange thread, like the leather thread. I have words tonight, I promise, bear with me. But he changed his mind to his new theme for his outfit for steampunk slash renaissance fair because they kind of like overlap if you're into either of those cultures. They have a lot of similarities like corsets and theming and some of the times, like, yeah. Anyway, uh, so he wants red and black now. So he was like, oh, well, if you want to wander around, it's almost like a flea market setup. There's different booths. It's a convention style. And he's like, if you want to wander around while I go to the truck and get drop off my hat, then I was like, are you sure you want to do that? Like, do not send me into the wild of shopping. <laughs> like, I will come back with something. So, but he had all the cash and stuff on him. So he comes back with his hat talks to the guys and i was like i already see something i want there's a jewelry stand and she was doing steampunk themed jewelry but 
It was also Disney themed. And then there were rainbows and there was a tree of life. So I'm like, this is perfect. I cannot walk away from this booth without them. And I'll link her down below because I got her card and she has an Etsy. And you can even see this necklace on her Etsy. But she does resin necklaces and earrings and such. And yes, there are gears in the ear. You know who this is supposed to be. This is obviously Mickey, Mickey ears. And then there's this rainbow tie-dye background and then a tree of life and it's on this necklace and it's just so beautiful. It was $27 and uh, it was just perfect. Like rainbow, tree of life, Disney, and steampunk. Some of my favorite things all in one necklace. And she was like, I love your hair so much. And she had these black, beautiful dreads. And she's like, I used to dye my hair like that when I was your age. And Ronnie's like, how old do you think she is? And she's like 18, 19 maybe. And I was like, I'm 35. But I was like, thank you. And she's like, oh my gosh, I'm 40. So we just kind of talked and laughed about that. But it was just so beautiful. Yay. But yeah, if you want to check her out, please do. She's very talented. She has a lot of jewelry up on her Etsy and she goes to different conventions, of course. And uh, she was just so nice and she's a beautiful person. I already love her. <laughs> I'll probably buy from her again now that I have her card and her Etsy in case I don't see her next steampunk or something. But anyways, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this haul as random as it is. Um, let me know what your favorite thing was that I found. And if I forget any links down below or if I forget something else, please comment. You know I love my comments. I will respond to every single one of them. And I really appreciate you watching. I hope you're doing whatever you are doing safely. Enjoy your brunch, champagne, tea, and not the bad tea because we don't do drama here. And uh, yeah, keep being yourself and if you like it, wear it. As long as it makes you smile, it's not hurting anybody else. And I will talk to you very, very soon. Pixie out.